Good morning. Um, welcome to Ultimate Drone Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about uh, drone fishing rigs. A lot of people have been asking about uh, how to rig up their, their rig for drone fishing. We've got one basic one that we use all of the time. Uh, has great success. We use this particular rig for snapper, uh, but it can be used for other things. We catch uh, a lot of, unfortunately, catch a lot of stingrays on the rig. Um, so, so when you when you're making the rig, the reason why the, we make the rig so long is to reduce uh, what's called a pendulum effect. So by having the weight further from the drone, it it uh, reduces the pendulum effect. Um, when you have the weight closer to the drone, it increases the pendulum effect. That's the theory anyway, and, and I have seen it work uh, in the past. So generally what we start with is we start with a barrel sinker uh, just at the very end. So at the moment, so that's the end. This end will go to your main line. We tie about seven mil mono, can be anything you really want, depending upon if you're using a uh, tension release mechanism, then you need to be using, uh, in, in this case, say seven mil line for a sky clip, or if it's a, if it requires a different tension line, you just need to use whatever that is. We find that anything less than seven mil uh, can cause uh, the, the, this line to actually wind around your um, your line, and it's not fun. So, so from that top of that barrel swivel, you've got your main line that goes up. This. This line that goes to the drone is about a metre long. On the very end, we just tie a very simple little loop, and that's what clips to your, to your bait release. Getting back to that barrel, we then have a metre and a half, approximately, to a three-way swivel. On the three-way swivel, we run, it's approximately about 30 centimetres, that's all you need, out to two snell hooks, I think these are about five O's. We generally dress them up with a little squid. Uh, seems to have good, you can do whatever you like really, but that's what we use. In this case, that size hook arrangement, we're generally using half a blue mackerel. If you want to go for bigger snapper or bigger fish, then you can run with three hooks and have a whole a whole bait on there. So it's really up to you, up to you uh, what you choose to do. You can also use mullet. Um, or octopus, or wherever you are in the world, uh, whatever your chosen bait is. So let's just recap. So going back to the main line, you've got your barrel sinker. You have a meter of line, in this case it's seven mil, going to a loop. A meter and a half to your first three-way swivel, to your first set of, set of hooks, snelled hooks. At that point, if you only want to run one sinker, you can then go, uh, sorry, one set of uh, hooks, you can, you can go to your sinker. In this case, we've got a two hook set up. So you've got another meter and a half of line, to another three way, two snails. So at the very end, so I think we're using about 60 or 80 pound fluoro here. The line that goes to your sinker, you want to be using about 30. So we had that that lower because the amount of times that we hook up on fish um, and the sinker may get snagged on the on the reef, we'll actually break that. So we'll sacrifice the sinker, keep the fish, keep your rig. So from that three-way, then goes all the way down to about another meter and a half to your sinker. Now you can either use a clip like this, or you can just tie a very simple knot like you have on the. Uh, the line that goes to the drone, feed it through and over. Um, that's generally what we do. I'll put it out on only for demonstration purposes. Uh, in this case, we've got a grapple sinker. Uh, there's different types that are out there. We find these these are really, really good to hold the line uh, uh, tension on it. Uh, you could also use your, your, your uh, stars, whatever you like to use, um, but that's, that's generally the rig that we use. I hope that helps. Uh, just a couple of little little things. When you're tying it to, uh, to the drone, I'll just give a demonstration. What we generally do, we'll lay out the, the rig. So the drone's over here, obviously. It's not there, but we'll pretend. So you, 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 you lay your, your line out, you hook it to the drone. When you're taking the drone off, after you've hooked it to the drone, you want to just make sure that that line is well and truly away from the propeller. If ever that line goes around your propeller, 
you need to de-arm your motors immediately and that'll stop the damage to the motors. Um, but that's really the main thing you need to be mindful of. Um, and that's it. So hopefully that helps you and we'll see you on the next video.